Hello and welcome to Digital Insights, featuring topics from the BoagWorld.com blog. My name is Paul Boag and I offer advice on user experience and digital transformation. Digital transformation and user experience design are about modernizing your business, modernizing them to better perform in today's market. But what does that mean in practice? What goes into modernizing a business? See, the world has changed. Digital has changed it. Customers have different expectations from 10 years ago. Our businesses need to adapt if they're going to survive. They need to modernize to meet the needs of today's connected customers, to leverage digital technologies to their advantage. But how? There is no one-size-fits-all solution when it comes to making a business competitive in the 21st century. It depends on the state of the business, the sector, and the customer. But most businesses follow a similar path, a path consisting of 12 steps. Before any business can modernize, it needs to take stock. It needs to understand what digital assets it has and whether they are fit for purpose. It needs to know what is happening in the broader marketplace, how the competition is responding to digital, but most of all, it needs to know its customers. It needs to know what their expectations are and how digital has changed their behavior. In most cases, the customer journey has changed beyond recognition. Digital has transformed how people find and interact with your business. Understanding what this new experience looks like is crucial to business success. Customer journey mapping enables the business to understand that experience, to begin to identify weaknesses in the current offering. After understanding the customer experience and expectations, it's time to analyze how to respond. There will be opportunities to improve the experience and gain a competitive advantage, but there will also be threats where the business is losing customers to poor service. The business can now prioritize threats and opportunities based on severity and potential. To ensure the whole company is moving in the same direction, it's necessary to have a single vision of the future, something everyone is working towards and can understand. A mission statement is too vague and an in-depth strategy too inaccessible. Instead, we should shape our vision of the future around the customer. What will the customer experience be like in the future? How will it look? How will it be different from today? This provides a common goal to move towards. A committee will not transform an organization. Even a directive from senior management won't modernize a business. It needs somebody to take responsibility for bringing about change. They don't need to be a digital or customer expert. These are things that can be learned or you can get outside help with, but they do need the authority, time and resources to make a difference. Most of all, they need a willingness to challenge the status quo, and to do that, they're going to need support of an executive sponsor. Without that, they will shy away from being disruptive. No one person can bring change alone. Meeting the needs of connected customers in our complex digital world is a big challenge. A challenge that involves people across the organization from, with different skill sets all working together. A transformation team will need to develop strategy, prototype approaches, and bring about change. A team experienced in design thinking and skilled in building digital services. Change is essential but risky. It would be bad business to rush in without having hard data to support decisions. It's fortunate that digital offers opportunities to gather detailed data. It also makes it inexpensive to build and test possible approaches. This leads itself to a culture of experimentation. Your transformation team can prototype improvements to the customer experience using cheap digital tools. And using digital thinking, they can test these new improvements and iterate on them. This will ensure they bring real returns for the business. Continual improvement and iteration ensures the company adapts to the changing market. It enables the company to always remain one step ahead of the competition. 
Your transformation team will be building a new culture. It will be changing the way the organization interacts with customers, but this best practice must happen company-wide. As out-of-date policies and procedures get replaced, new ones need to be brought in. A key step along the journey of transformation is to formalize the changes made, that the whole company uses these new operating procedures, not just the transformation team. The modernization of a business needs every employee to be on board. They need to understand the need for change and be capable of applying those changes to their daily work. This means undertaking a program of education and communication. The business needs to train its staff in the use of digital tools and customer service. Management must keep staff informed of upcoming changes, why they matter and their impact. Only then will the culture of the organization begin to change. An executive directive is not going to be enough by itself. As change takes hold, old department structures may become a barrier to success. Previously appropriate business silos could prove problematic in a customer-centric company. In such cases, these structures may need changing. Whatever the structure, the business will need to adapt to better support multidisciplinary teams. Departments cannot continue passing the customer back and forth, neither can they fight for control over business-critical functions and projects. A customer-first approach will never take root if it goes against employees' interests. If the business assesses staffs or teams on a metric, then they're going to focus on that metric to the exclusion of all else. This can devalue the needs of the customer and put them in a secondary position. As the business becomes more customer-focused, so should assessment criteria and incentives. Customer satisfaction will be a key metric for all staff, even those who are not customer-facing. The business should encourage risk and experimentation in the name of innovation. This is especially important during the transformation process. During this period of uncertainty, staff will stick to the status quo and management needs to encourage them to embrace change. Transformation will never be complete. It's an ongoing journey that adapts to changing market conditions and customer expectations. But in time, your business should have a structure better suited to continual adaptation. People, policies and cultures that can adapt to the dynamic nature of modern business. In time, attitudes will have changed. Management will have prepared staff and realigned their own thinking. At this point, the business will be ready to empower employees to make decisions on the ground. The power will lie with those who work with the customer daily to bring about change. Only then will the organization be truly customer-centric. The 12 steps don't always happen in order. Often several steps are happening at the same time, and your company may be weak in some areas and strong in others. But whatever your situation, there is one constant. You cannot stand still. The world has changed, business has changed, and you need to change too. And if you need help in making that happen, then get in touch.